case, so the relationship between the rectangular and the polar coordinates. So we have this figure. So this one is point x, y is the rectangular coordinates. And this point r theta is the polar coordinates. And these are the different formulas to uh, remember. So to solve for x, that's r cosine theta. To solve for y, it's r sine theta. And to solve for angle theta, it's the inverse tangent y over x. And to solve for the radius, that's the square root of the sum of x squared and y squared. Then we have this problem, so find the rectangular coordinates of the following polar coordinates. So these given coordinates are the polar coordinates. So this is r and theta. So r is negative 4 and theta, that's 130 degrees. So we need to convert this one in a rectangular coordinates. So solve for x and solve for y. So to solve for x, so using this formula, r cosine theta, so r is negative 4 and theta is 130 degrees. Then to solve for x, we have negative 4, then cosine 130, so that's 2.57, so this is x. And for y, that's r sine theta, so that's negative 4 sine 130 degrees. Then to solve for y, so negative 4. Then sine 130, so that's 3.06. So y is equal to negative 3.06. So therefore, 2.57 and negative 3.06 is the rectangular coordinate of this given polar coordinate. Then for uh, b, so r is 6. And theta, that's 2 pi over 3. So we need to convert this angle in radian to degree. So since uh, this pi is equal to 180 degrees, so to convert this one in degree, so 2 times 180, and that's pi, then divide by 3. So therefore, this 2 pi over 3 is equal to 120 degrees. Then to solve for uh, x, so r is 6, theta is 120, so we have 6 cosine 120, so that's negative 3, so x is negative 3. Then for y, that's r sine theta, so 6 sine 120, so 6 sine 120, it's 5.20, so y is 5.20. 20. So therefore, a negative 3 and 5.20 is the rectangular coordinate of this given polar coordinate. Then if we're going to uh, find the polar coordinate of the following rectangular coordinates, so these coordinates are the rectangular coordinates. So this is x and this one is y. So x and y. So x, uh, that's 2, then y is negative 5. So to find the polar coordinates, so we need to solve for r, that's the radius, and angle theta. So to solve for the radius, that's the square root of the sum of x squared and y squared. So x is 2, y is negative 5. Then this 2 squared, that's 4. And the square of negative numbers, that's positive, so negative 5 squared. That's 25. Then 4 plus 25, that's square root of 29. Then to solve for angle theta, so theta, that's inverse tangent y over x, or that's the inverse tangent of negative 5 over 2. Then to get uh, theta, so we have this uh, inverse tangent, so shift tangent, then Open parenthesis, that's negative 5 divided by 2, then close parenthesis. So that's negative 68.20 degrees. So theta is negative 68.20 degrees. Then uh, since this 2, negative 5 lies in quadrant 4, so if this is your Cartesian plane, so observe that uh, x is positive, 
and y is negative. So therefore, this coordinate are located at quadrant 4 and our given angle that's negative 68.20 is also in quadrant 4. So therefore, the polar coordinates is square root of 29 and negative 68.20 degrees. Then for uh, B, we have x negative square root of 3, y is positive 2. Then to solve for R, so negative square root of 3, so square root of negative numbers uh, is positive. So just cancel this radical, so we have positive 3, and the square root of 2, that's 4. So 3 plus 4R is square root of 7. Then to solve for theta, that's the inverse tangent of y over x or the inverse tangent of 2 over negative square root of 3. So theta now, so we have a shift tangent, that's the inverse tangent. Then open parenthesis, 2 divide by negative, then d square root of 3, close parenthesis. That's negative 49.11 degrees. So theta is negative 49.11 degrees. Now since this uh, given coordinate, that's negative square root of 3, 2 lies in second quadrant. So this is the plane. So uh, x is negative and y is positive. So therefore, this coordinate is in second quadrant. But this angle, negative 49.11, is in quadrant 4. So therefore, we need to add 180 for this angle theta. So plus 180. So the polar coordinates now. So we have negative 49.11, then plus 180. That's 130.89 degrees. So this is now the polar coordinate square root of 7 and 130.89 degrees. Then for this uh, given, so x is negative 1, y is negative square root of 3. So to solve for r, so we have negative 1 squared plus negative square root of 3 squared. Then cancel this radical, so that's 1 plus 3, or that's the square root of 4. So r now is positive 2. Then to solve for angle theta, so it's the inverse tangent of y over x. So y is negative square root of 3 and x is negative 1. So to solve for uh, theta, so we have shift tangent, then open parenthesis, negative square root of 3, then divide by negative 1, close, and that's 60 degrees. So, uh, theta is equal to 60 degrees. Then, since this negative 1 and negative square root of 3 lies in third quadrant, so if this is the plane, so x is negative and also y is negative. So, this is now the uh, location of this coordinate uh, in the third quadrant. But these 60 degrees are uh, located in first quadrant, this one is 60. Therefore, we need to add 180 for this 60 degrees. So we have uh, 60 plus 180, and that's 240 degrees. So the polar coordinate now, that's 2 and 240 degrees. Now take note that this 240 degrees is in quadrant a 3 because this one is 180 degrees and this is 270 degrees. So this is how to convert polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates or the rectangular coordinates to the polar coordinates.